So today we're building a tornado in a bottle. A tornado in a bottle with Miss Bax and me, Mr. Gabe. So <clears throat> Miss Becca has a project to learn about tornadoes, right? Uh huh. Too cool. And uh, she's gonna build the uh, two-liter tornado in a bottle. Tornado in a bottle. Or twister. So how we're doing that? How we're doing that? How we're overdoing that? Overdoing it. How we're overdoing that is we took two lids from two liter bottles, the yes. caps. Just the caps. Uh, we went down and got inch and a quarter. I don't know if you can see that now. It's getting dark. Oh, that's the wrong side. Duh. <laughs> we got inch and a quarter couplings. You can do it with uh, inch and a half. Yeah. You probably do it with one inch, but we, we went with inch and a quarter. It seemed like the right size. Uh, the two caps together, whoops, the two caps together, uh, tall were about one inch. They were right at one inch, so you just tape measure to measure that. We took one of the couplings over and uh, cut about an inch off of it. Got it as flat as we could, took it to the files. Ooh, that's hot. It is? Oh, yeah. Took it to the files and got it all cleaned up, uh, nice flat edges, and uh, we took the electrical tape, or yeah, electrical duct tape, yeah. whatever, and laid it on the table, flat side up, or uh, sticky side up, stuck one of the caps with the thread side down on there, and then we stuck our deal, oh, look at that, we stuck our uh, ring that we cut off of our couplings on there and then wrapped it up around it and wrapped it tight so the lid was stuck down in there then we took another lid put it on top of that one centered as possible uh, electrical tape Whoop. electrical tape uh, to hold it and we got it good and centered and then wrapped it a couple times and uh, made sure it was where we wanted it and then we went and <clears throat> we got the epoxy with the uh, the little mixer tube. That mixes it. So we didn't have to mix it on a tray or something stupid. Uh, anyway, anyway, we uh, we put that down in there. As you can see, it's curing and man, it's hot. That's why I was when I moved that a second ago. I just noticed. Oh my gosh, that's like, woo, that's warm. Give it a feel, Becca. Yeah, just touch the outside edge. Don't touch the wet parts. The shiny parts, we don't want that. Oh, ow. Yeah. It oh, it's not that hot. Come on. But now. that is. It's not, it's not that hot. Who's going to be an actress when they grow up? You. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, we pushed that through. We, it actually took more than one tube. There's the other tube. Uh, I threw it in the trash. But anyway, it actually took more than one tube. So, when we're done, we'll unwrap the tape, take all the tape off, and then we will give it one more flat filing. And that way, your bottles will be strong and sturdy. Mm -hmm. Yep. You want to tell them the rest? Um, what are we putting in it? Should I go get it? Uh, yeah, go get one. Oh, I'll yeah. Get like a whole okay. bunch. No, I back in. How long one? Okay, we're gonna use bone dark sticks. <laughs> we're gonna cut them open. We're gonna take the two liquids. Put one in the other bottle, take the little glass filings, break those open, put them in the other one. And we that's like the biggest that we could find. We bought like 80 of them. So we got a bunch of this. There's four, four uh, chem lights, glow-in-the-dark chem lights in each one. And what we're going to do, oh, you know what? They're all different colors. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Well, at least well, we bought 80. Well, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll open them up. Uh -huh. And we'll mix all four. We'll do one like this. Because mm -hmm. one of the things we want to try is uh, diluting it with water. Does it make it not glow or does it make it glow half as long? That's something we're going to learn too. So much like the epoxy, these are a binary fluid situation, your chemical reaction that happens. So we're going to cut them open. Uh, these are non-toxic, but they can stain your clothes. So we're going to wear gloves. We're going to be careful. We're outside. Anyway, we're not going to do it inside. Yeah, we're going to play with one of these and see how it does. We got a bunch of these. We got like 80 packs. We got like 80 packs. Uh -huh. 80 sticks. And 
um, 20 one. packs. There's 20 packs of four, so there's 80 sticks. So anyway, we're going to take these. The one fluid is going to go in in the bottles uh -huh. until they're full. And then the glass, we're going to put in a separate container. And then we'll break those separate, put them in a container. And when you get to school... Um, I have to be very careful and keep them separate. Yeah. When you get to school and you go to do the presentation, you'll dump the small bottle in and then screw it all back together in the extra strong caps. And then... Boom. Twist it like this, so you kind of shake it, and then turn it upside down and makes a twister in a bottle. And it goes in the dark. There you go. For a little while. Yes. It's going to be cool. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. That's our project today we're working on. Miss Beck's. More thumbs? More thumbs up? More hey. thumbs up? Hey. hey. <laughs> so that's the project we're working on today. And there you go. Five thumbs up. Maybe if your kid has a science project, you can do your own. Exaggerated over the top answer. Three dimensional vortex generator. Yes. Uh, yeah. Hey, next week yeah. we can work on four dimensional vortex generators and spatial compression fields. So basically, we're going to go to the TARDIS. We could turn the garage into a TARDIS. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Okay, so glow sticks didn't work at all. We went with Sharpies. I oh. broke two of them open, got ink everywhere. Looks kind of rough. You want to show them what you got there? This is a black light. It's a black light. Do you think you could do the thing? Yeah, you'd have to push that. I'm going to. So turn the black light on. Now turn the thing over. And there you go. You're holding it by the top, not by the middle. Now spin it. And with the black light behind it, Huh? From my angle, you can't really see it. No, you don't need to be at your angle. You need to be here. Whoa, look at that. So we got to find a way to kill the bubbles. It's like stab the bubbles. <laughs> so there it is. Yeah, there's lots of bubbles. The epoxy ring. Come on, focus. There you go. Boop. Cool. Uh huh. <laughs> got it to work. All right, there we go. Yeah. All right, what do you say? Catch you in the next one. There you go. Glow stick.